Ah, oh, here we go again. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? In this episode of Play Like a Pro, we're talking about how to use blunder bombs and fire bombs. So blunder bombs and fire bombs are unique because you can use them both by hand, by throwing them, or also by shooting them from a cannon. This makes them very useful when supplying your ship and you'll want to have a lot of them. In this video we're talking about when it's best to use these in different situations. First let's talk about what each of these does. Blunder bombs are best used to knock back players. They also damage players both if you hit them with it or if they are close enough where the blunder bomb lands. I believe if you hit them directly it should do 50 damage, however I'm not positive on that. Next is fire bombs, which are pretty self explanatory. When you hit something with it, it will light on fire. If you hit a player, they will light on fire temporarily, but if you hit a ship, it will stay on fire till it is put out. Both blunder bombs and fire bombs can not only damage you, but also your crewmates, so when using these, you have to be very careful. So, next, let's talk about shooting these from your cannon. A player who understands how to use these effectively will be better off at winning a fight than someone who randomly shoots these or throws them. So when shooting firebombs it's not important where you shoot, however I tend to like places that will best benefit me at the moment. For example if I see a lot of players on top deck where the cannon is, I'll shoot there so that they can't use the cannon and it will damage a couple of them at the same time. It also is a good idea to hit below deck as the fire over time will start breaking the ship and making holes if not put out quickly. So shooting below deck will start that process a lot faster than shooting above deck. Blunder bombs on the other hand are better played by shooting at either the front or the back of the ship. When you shoot the blunder bomb at another ship it will knock the ship but it won't do any damage. I find it's best to use these in only two situations. First if you want to change their ship's direction. If they're sailing next to you, hitting the back of their ship will turn them towards you, and hitting the front of them will turn them away from you. The second scenario is you want to try and knock another player off their ship. For example, aiming at the wheel so the player gets knocked back and can't steer. However, I should note that I wouldn't recommend using it for that since regular cannonballs would do the same effect and will actually do damage. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about how you'd most likely use these and that's by throwing them. So now is probably a good time to talk about how many of these you can hold. In total you can hold 5 of either. I tend to like to have a mixture of both. Usually I'll carry say 2 blunder bombs and 3 fire bombs. However that could obviously change depending on the situation. So with the fire bombs I typically only use them if I'm on an enemy ship. If I'm not in the middle of a fight I will throw them at the mass because over time it will break it. If I can steal more fire bombs, I would also throw them on the lower decks. I save the blunder bombs for when I'm in a fight. They're really good at taking health from a player and then jumping down and attacking them. Two other situations I find them really useful in are when someone is hanging on the ladder, I will walk to the other side of the ship and throw it at the ladder and it will knock them off no matter where on the ladder they are. The second is when fighting underwater, it's really helpful to throw a blunder bomb at them and then quickly shoot with the pistol or sniper as the blunder bomb will take a good amount of their health away and they won't have any time to heal before you shoot at them. I'd recommend practicing some of this stuff in the arena as it's a perfect place to train without worrying about losing a bunch of loot or something. If you play on controller, I would also recommend you check out this video here as it's really helpful in making accessing your food and throwables a lot faster, which is important when in that fight. But that's it for this video. I want to thank all of you for watching. We'll have another episode of Play Like a Pro next week, so if you enjoyed this one, it'd be great if you left a like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later on the seas. Bye y'all.